Well, it seems here we have yet another really great example of the Talmudic Jewish lobby and their campaign against free speech and free expression. In this case, it's over in Scotland, because uh, pretty much every single country that they would they would say is a democracy, uh, they want to essentially censor free speech. And democracy in and of itself is already uh, not a good thing when you really look into it. But they would, you know, the Talmudic Jewish lobby, they would somehow, you know, uh, before liberal democracy, in the, uh, as, as a public profession, but support these kind of laws that ban so-called hate speech, which I thought democracy was, you know, built around free speech and everything else, you know. But of course, uh, free speech is only speech that the Jewish, the Talmudic Jewish lobby agrees with, apparently. But it says here in the article on uh, the Jewish Chronicle, Scottish Jewish Council backs measure to outlaw stirring up hatred. Critics say the proposal is too vague and a threat to free speech. That's exactly what it is. It's a threat to free speech. But you see, uh, it's only free speech if the Talmudic Jewish lobby agrees with it, apparently. But that's been their consistent record. And yeah, it is exactly a threat to free speech. Because what they would say, stirring up hatred, it is a very vague term. How do you, how do you really define that? Because they would, they would define really any criticism of Judaism, their false religion, their false idolatrous stone-worshipping religion as stirring up, you know, stirring up hatred, basically. But it says here in the article, the Scottish Council of Jewish Communities is backing a controversial proposal in a new bill designed to curb hate, which is making its way through the Scottish Parliament. The hate crime and public order bill would be an important milestone in protecting groups, said, uh, Omza Yusuf, Scotland's Cabinet Secretary for uh, Justice, but critics of one of the proposal, but critics of one proposal to create a new offence of quote stirring up hatred unquote are it's too big and can threaten free speech. That's exactly what it will do, by the way. Uh, currently, a more restricted definition of stirring up hatred is covered in public order legislation, but the Scottish government wants to extend protection just uh, from just racial or ethnic groups to other grounds such as sexual orientation or religion. It's in its submission to the government, uh, S-C-O-J-E-C, I think I say it, says it strongly supports the introduction in this, in, uh, of this new offence. But in other areas, the Scottish, uh, what do they call it, the Scottish Jewish, uh, the, the, sorry, the Scottish Council of Jewish Communities, that's what they called it, believes the new law may not go far enough. Huh, yeah, I mean, I mean, they want to just outlaw all so-called, you know, hate speech, which is just speech they don't agree with. And again, notice how I was going to cover religion, so that means I, I could criticize their false religion, and I'm stirring up hatred, apparently. It's a bunch of garbage. It says here, uh, for example, we see a pig's head dumped on a woman's lawn in Alberdeen. Pork's pie, pork pies were left in a blue pencil note at Dundee Synagogue, and a passenger made a gesture of a firing gun at a pedestrian in a, in a passing car. It is not a certain that any offense was committed, it said. Uh, these would all have been recorded by police as, as hate incidents rather than hate crimes. It, uh, it's suggesting that the legislation should include the option of prosecution for racially aggravated, aggravated conduct for in, instances incidents such as those we have described above. Whereas the definition of stirring up hatred or progressing inflammatory de, uh, material depends on speech or material being threatening, abusing, or insulting. In the case of race or ethnicity, this is a limited. This is limited in the new bill to threatening or abusive on or abusive on other grounds but the scottish uh, s-c-o-j-e-c -E says that insulting should apply to a protection of all groups there should not be any inherent uh, hierarchy of equality it says well really uh i mean insulting so if i say that judaism is idolatrous and uh false you know it's a false religion it's, it's the spirit of antichrist it's idolatrous they worship that stupid wall over in jerusalem which is exactly what it is by the way that's what Judaism is. Well, I guess I'm, I'm stirring up hatred, apparently. It's a bunch of garbage. But you see, uh, what they would say is democracy, you know, supposedly has to have free speech. But you see, it's always these liberal democracies that always crack down on free speech. Hence why democracy is not even a good thing, okay? When you look at what an actual free and liberty, you know, based society is, it's more kind of a constitutional republic. It's not a democracy, but side issue, says uh, in the article, it also urged the government to consider introducing legislation to crack down on internet hate uh, and supported the proposal abolition of blasphemy in the bill. So the blasphemy thing in the bill, that would be like, I guess, for free speech, but then they want to attack free speech at the same time. It's a bunch of garbage. Uh, internet hate. So apparently, you know, there, so it's not just, it's not just in the public life, you want to crack down on what people say in their private homes on their computers too, apparently. <laughs> yeah. 
it's authoritarian, but by the way, this is a consistent record they've had uh, ever since the days of the early church. You know, even when Jesus Christ walked this earth in John 5, John 8, John 10, I referenced these verses before, they tried to censor his free speech as well. They tried to censor the early church, like in Acts 13, uh, Acts 17 is one instance of that as well, where they, they stirred up mobs to try to, you know, drive out the, the apostles and the early saints for rebuking their false religion. So this is a consistent record they've had of opposing free speech, but the whole thing of internet, you know, internet hate hate speech is it just, that kind of level of censorship is blatantly authoritarian. But hey, what do I expect when they're basically using Nazi tactics to censor what they would call neo-Nazis? Because it's always been the Nazis that would censor free speech. It's always authoritarian societies like the Nazis or the communists who would censor free speech, censor speech they don't like. So the Talmudic Jewish lobby is using Nazi tactics to supposedly fight against anti-Semitism, which is a, such a, so much of a, a misused term that it's basically lost all meaning. So I could say a whole lot more on that, but uh, this campaign against free speech has been a consistent one uh, by the Nazi-oriented Talmudic Jewish lobby. So it's a bunch of garbage. I'll be covering more of that in many videos to come. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.